The following program contains adult themes, nudity, and coarse language. Viewer and parental discretion is advised. It's party time! Put down your clicker and pick up your liquor! It's time for Ed's Night Party! Starring me, Ed the Sock, and my co-host, Deanna Kay! Tonight, her name is similar to the famous outlaw, but pulling the job takes on a whole different meaning for porn star Jesse Jane. Plus, rub it up, dub, these two babes in the tub. Some scale. I, I, my chest is numb. Like I can't feel it. I'll feel it. <laughs> What's the matter? You're cold? It's freezing back there. I think you can probably tell. Those are some fabulous boobs. Thank you. Yeah. You grow those at home? Yeah, I did. Yeah, those are all homegrown? Yeah, that's what I spent my teenage years doing. Yeah, really? Yeah. See, a lot of kids just uh, smoke dope and come away with barely a high school education. You grew a huge grew pair of hooters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unlike a high school diploma, those things will actually benefit you outside of school. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, I have some idea. Um, so, people are probably wondering why the hell there are guys standing in the middle of the floor here. The professor has some friends who make airbrush on shirts, right? Yep. Uh, airbrush shirts, and uh, he's wearing one right now. Yeah. An airbrush t shirt, the airbrush shoes. Uh, but he came and showed us this uh, t shirt. Uh, to tell us, you know, hey, look, my friends made me this t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's supposed to be him. He looks, he looks Spanish. It's the Puerto Rican version of the Greek professor. So it looks so ridiculous. I told James, bring your friends in here. I want to see them do something properly. Because that's obviously a half-assed job. Chris is here. All right, Chris, kicks, so, yeah. just for kicks. We got it. Um, what is it you do? Your job is to supervise the airbrushing? How do you get such a job? Union. Union. Well, I wanna, I'm testing you. During the show, you're going to work on another shirt of the professor with him posing live for you. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we're going to see something that's a little bit more of a resemblance to the professor than what we saw there. Can we, can we get a close-up? We see that... Uh, the progress they've made so far? Oh, yeah, it's a dead ringer. <laughs> All right. Um, how about a hand for the Just for Kicks guys? They'll be here after the show. <laughs> All righty. Now, the shirt of the professor? That was wrong. <laughs> Which, of course, gives us a great segue into this week's edition of Wrong! <laughs> Oh my. Yeah, and this is our friend Mark Reed found this in, uh, in Mexico. It's a unique member of the woodwind family. It's, uh, it's a wood sculpted flute um, in some people's favorite shape. Oh God, this is kind of frightening. Yeah. It's only three notes though. Play us a tune, would you? You can't, you can't do anything with three notes. Play us a little tune. It's like the pan flute. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the new Yanni. Why are you? You're fascinated by I this. I am fascinated by this thing. It's just so wrong. It's what? What makes it wrong? Well, it's a penis flute. What more do you need? <laughs> a lot more, and apparently. And I'm blowing on it like it's something shaped like a penis that you're designed to blow on. Yeah. I don't know why they. Just what do you think a penis is designed for? <laughs> and that is wrong. Wrong. Got something wrong? Send it to us at the address on your screen, but don't expect to get it back ever. Well, you know what it's time to do now? What's that? It's uh, time to introduce the uh, gentlemen who are going to be in the hot tub. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
please welcome from the three tards, two of the tards. Come on down. Uh, the Three Tards, Ed, are uh, officially the first ASCORE hardcore punk band in the history of Canada. ASCORE. What does that mean exactly? Well, basically what ASCORE is, is you basically take all elements of all different types of music, you eat them all in, and then you shit them all out, and that turns into ASCORE, Ed. Wow. I thought you were talking about you... you... Going up the down escalator. Yeah, yeah, I thought you meant you had your ass cord. Um, which sounds painful, but band sometimes could be prison. pleasant, I understand. Uh, I understand there's more than just two of you in the band. Yeah, well, this is Fox Tart. I don't know if he said anything yet. Right. We, got, uh, we got Mike Tart and we got Gus Tart as well. All right. Oh, there's what Mike. The hell? Oh, here's one of the Tards now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's a pre-tart have to clean the lens. It's a one-eyed... <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, I think that's a mate for the I penis see. flute. <laughs> oh, okay. we, we, we thought Ed could use a boyfriend, so oh. we... Uh... Hey, 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 hey. They made you a shirt. Oh, they made me a shirt. Yeah. yeah we that? brought that no, just for you. I'll put that on later. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, well, Tards, you uh, ready to meet the ladies who are supposed to be in the top with you? For sure. All right. Uh, please welcome Roxy and Chloe. you both here uh, get to know the uh, the the guys and um, should that uh, yeah. one-eyed thing disappear we'll look for whichever one of you is smiling I like that one -eyed thing. it's cute you are a redhead it's really cute okay you know what the thing is the tub area they when they get out their feet are wet they slip them slip on the floor what we've often needed is like a, a rug there to help uh, to help, you know, absorb it, make it safer, slip free. So, uh, Barry, what you got a rug. We, I, I bought this rug. I thought it'd be perfect. Oh, God. There, look at that perfect. That? It's a tiki rug. It's a, like a Hawaiian thing. That, that, that's not a tiki. Okay, we've been through a tiki thing before. Right. First of all, ugly as sin. Come on, it's beautiful. Second of all, it's not even a tiki. Oh, you, 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 what, you're upset that it's not a tiki. Yeah. Oh, well, and, in that case, and it doesn't you know what match we've got? Anything. It doesn't match anything? No. Well, interesting you should point that out. Because, lower the gun! Accessorize the tub. Congratulations. Got around you that time, didn't you? I anticipated you. Yeah, very good. All right. Um, well, while we try to figure out exactly why the uh, god's tongue isn't going, perhaps he's angry with us. Uh, Maybe he feels insecure because of the penis monster in the tub. Anything is possible. And uh, how are they doing over there with the airbrush? Oh, wow. look at that. As you can see, as you can see the Mexican shape. influence. Yeah, I can see that. It he is. looks like uh, somebody that's on like the Brazilian currency. <laughs> <laughs> we're, getting um, there. we're getting there. That shirt will continue. The three times at the top. That's all when we return. So don't go anywhere. More Les Night Party. Here's the Jesse James pays us a visit. I only hope it's a conjugal one. Plus, more one-eyed monster fun with 
the girls in the Wang Tang, so stay tuned! Hey, Ed Head, don't forget to surf on over to headthestock.com for the latest news, bulletin board chat, fan club stuff, clips, and uncensored footage. Headthestock.com! the cameraman <laughs> for the shots they were taking of Brooke over there. <laughs> Front and back. God bless mirrors. Um, okay, so we are back. Uh, if you just joined us, boy, did you miss a lot. Uh, Leanna was blowing on a wooden phallus. Uh, and it was making music, as I would. Uh, but the professor had this shirt that was made for his friends and just for kicks. Yep. I thought that it looked too Spanish, and he's Greek. And so they come in to uh, do a proper shirt for him. Let's see what the progress is over there. Looking good. Well, it's looking Ooh. like you. <laughs> yeah, good is subjective. Hey. Uh, all right. Um, and how are things over uh, over in the tub? There's a lot of props Ooh, in the tub. We're looking good, Ed. Yeah, I see that. Uh, Fox Tart's looking good, too. Yeah, oh, he's wearing a shirt. And uh, didn't it took you a little longer than usual, uh, Candace, to uh, disrobe? Yeah, were you feeling shy? I was earlier, yeah. Yeah, we're having an I feel fat day. You didn't feel like showing your boobs right away? Ready? Yeah! You see, everybody? That's what happens when they're real. They move. And that's why real are better than fake any day. Big, small, doesn't matter as long as they're homegrown. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, I would have done Roxy, that. Roxy, have to forgive her. Does Mr. Penis Puppet have a name? Yeah, his name's Peter. Oh. Well, that's barely original that's at all. That's a stupid question. Yeah. Okay, thank you, everybody in the tub. Uh, we've got a brand new dancer with us. Yes, we yes, do. Yes, her name yes. is Brooke. Brooke! I'm with you. Oh, you're oh. 15 feet and you'll be ecstatic. Um, <laughs> interesting thing about you, you have a name which is the uh, same as uh, an adult star. Yeah, that's true. A very famous adult star. But no. It actually is her name. That's yeah. not a real name. You don't think her real name is Brooke? It's not. It's no? Because, no. no. you know, I was at Brooke Hunter's house with her, with her yeah, geek husband. Yeah, but nobody uses the real name in adult films. Okay. Uh, Mabel. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> so, have you ever had anybody, like, uh, get confused? Like, uh, you know, maybe you're going on a blind date Willingly. and they're going on a blind date with Brooke Hunter. Wow! Yeah, actually, uh, I get it a lot. The first guy I had a blind date with was a little surprised. He was like, hey, I always thought you were blonde. <laughs> and I was like, no, no. Wait, this guy actually thought he was getting a blind date with a porn star? I guess so. Did, did, did you disappoint or did you come through in the clinch? Well, I mean, you know she makes the deep throw movies. Right. Here, Brooke. I don't kiss and tell. Here, Brooke, we got something for you. <laughs> I actually did go to band camp, and I did play the flute, so. Oh, okay. I'm run for money. Okay, how about a big hand for Brooke? I like Brooke. Hot. Do you? I like Brooke. Yeah, but like if the two of you were uh, like to have one of those same-sex encounters, you'd never be able to kiss. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be fun to watch you try. There's but... other places to kiss. Okay! <laughs> Check, please! So, you know, interesting talking about porn, mm -hmm. because I'm, lately I'm very disappointed about porn. You are? Very disappointed about porn, because, you know, I've talked about this before, there's really no art to it anymore. Now that video cameras are so inexpensive and websites are everywhere, nobody takes pride in craftsmanship, and I'm tired of being duped. Because there's so many websites that offer web clips and things like that, porn movies you can download. I'm tired of being fooled, okay? Like, MILF sites, very popular, okay? Now I look at these MILF things, come on! She's never had children, she's not the least bit maternal. I'm looking at her, I, I think you should really have to show pictures of your kids before you can be considered a MILF. It's not older women, ILF. It's mother's ILF. If you're not a mother, you're not a MILF. You know what I'm talking about? 
about? It just ruins it for me when I see this woman who I know has never been in labor. And they're like, uh, Debbie does Dallas? How do I know that's Dallas? How do I know it's not a sound stage? Midget gangbang? They slip in a couple of dwarfs thinking you're not gonna notice? You know, girl, first time anal? Sorry, it doesn't slip in like your foot in a shoe if it's your first time with anal. It doesn't slip in like your foot in a shoe ever. <laughs> wrong. I just think that they're, they're fooling the public. Uh, it really, they need to stand behind their, uh, their product a little more. We need a better business bureau to investigate these things. I'm with you on this one. I think anything worth doing is worth doing right. Yeah, we need some responsibility in porn. Absolute we need a better business bureau. in pornography. And of course, the best person to talk to about that, we happen to have a satellite uh, interview hooked up. We have with us uh, adult actress, well, let's face it, they're not acting. Porn star Jesse Jane is with us. Jesse, hi, how are you? Great, how are you? Good, you're good. All right, start us off, give us a bit of history about how you got into the adult film business. Well, I started almost two years ago. I work for a digital playground. I've had a contract ever since, and we do about five films a year. We just shot Island Fever in Tahiti and Bora Bora, and it was amazing. I didn't want to leave. I had to cry when we left. And uh, we do a bunch of magazines and stuff, and it's just it's a good company to work for. It's fun. What made you decide to get into porn? I mean, you were a bridal model before this, right? I'm an extremely sexual person, and I love to have sex, and obviously adult was the step for me. So how was the audition? How'd you find the place? Was it like a lineup of pizza boys? I came in. I have... I give off a sexual energy when I want to be noticed in that way. You know, I, I, I like, well... I don't even know how to explain it, but I'll ooze to you that sex is on my mind. Oh! You ooze! <laughs> Jesse, do, do work and play ever mix for you? Do you ever get confused? Yeah, like, are uh, you like having sex with a boyfriend, you're about to orgasm, you start looking for the camera for the money shot? No, no, I totally forget the cameras are there. Um, I'm not even into the cameras. I always get in trouble for moving out of position where the camera's not focused because I get so into my scenes and like I said, I have a chemistry with them so I don't have to fake it So I and I love sex. So I just go and I always get in trouble like, stop, Jesse. You know, we're not positioned for that. And I'm like, sorry, oops. And has this idea for a porn better business bureau. Yeah, you're in the business. What do you think of this? All this, this fakery that's going on, you know, people pretending to be on lush tropical islands when they're really just some back lot in LA, MILFs who aren't MILFs, cheerleaders who aren't cheerleaders. I hate when people fake it because it totally ruins, like, you know, if I'm watching an adult film and I could tell that people are faking it, I, I'm totally turned off by it. What kind of partners do you, do you like to work with, do you look for? I need them to be good looking. I know there's a shortage of guys in the business, and so not all of them are good looking, but I, I need my guy to be good looking, you know, pretty nicely cut, and um, the girls have to be hot that I sleep with too, so that's all. Now when you say cut, do you mean they're muscled or are you referring to their penis? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, I love you. Keep checking out jessiejane.com and I got more to come at ya. And I love you, Ed. Oh, I love you too, Jesse. Oh, everybody loves you. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. All right. See? Corn Better Business Bureau. They even support it for people in the industry. Yeah. Apparently. Trying to keep them honest. You're on to something here. Yes, and yes. Uh, speaking of on to something, let's see how far the airbrush guys have got. Oh, yeah. The clock is ticking on the uh, uh, t-shirt. Yeah. I told them they had, one, they had the, the span of the show to finish okay. that shirt. They now have a little bit more time, because uh, when we come back, that thing better be finished and it better be good. Okay, just for kicks. All right? Uh, when we come back, more. So don't go anywhere. More with that Night Party. Up to the end.
We are back. And uh, I'm wearing a little three-tard shirt. Yeah. So it looks a bit odd. It looks yeah, like it I'm look, wearing a sweater. Yeah, it looks more like an apron. Yeah, well, if you look around the back, it's like I'm wearing an umpire's uh, thing. You're out! But uh, thank you, gentlemen. It took work. Not as much work as that giant phallus that you uh, put together, but it took work. So thank you very much. Okay. So now is the moment of truth. The uh, Just for Kicks guys have had a whole half hour now to uh, make a new shirt of the professor, make a facsimile of his face that he can wear on his chest. As if looking at one of the professor's faces isn't enough. Um, <laughs> let's see how they did. Hello, professor! Yeah. <laughs> let's see the shirt, idiot! Hey, back up, you moron! Back up, you idiot! You can't even do this right! Stand there so we can see the shirt! You're posing like a Sears catalog! Our substitute hey. DJ who brought us in from the, uh, brought us in from the thing. Nice job, Barry. Are you contractually obligated to insult any DJ that's there? I didn't say anything about him. Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. No, I don't, I'm not going to insult Barry. Oh, no? No, he's not an idiot like the oh, professor. So hey, his fade out was a little rough, so. All right. Oh. All right. Well. He's interning. His fade out was better than your modeling. <laughs> um, okay, a big hand for the Just for Kicks guys. Yeah. Put together a decent shirt. Uh, three times. John Tard and Fox Tard. Okay, but a big hand for everybody. And uh, for, of course, Liana. And uh, you'd need big hands to hold on to those. Ah, uh, oh, please don't do that. Ah, uh, like I always say, I'd rather be a smart ass than a dumb ass. If you have anything good to say, say it often. Good night.